Charlie was willing to sacrifice his life for his favorite chicken wings, a task which may turn out to be more than he could handle. As an online lecture for his college students took place, his camera mysteriously shut off. After the lesson, the overweight teacher settled in to watch an inappropriate video for adults. Just as he got into it, he started feeling sick and his heart simply couldn't take the strain. Charlie started to panic, his phone dropping out of his hands until a religious preacher accidentally came into his apartment. Charlie asked the man to read one of the essays on the table, and he did without hesitation, even offering to call an ambulance. His friend Liz arrived and tried to get him to the hospital, but Charlie had no health insurance and didn't want to risk the debt. Liz then helped Charlie grab a walker to the bathroom, and asked the preacher to leave as he was linked to Charlie's close friend's death. Liz once again tried to persuade Charlie to go to the hospital, but he refused and the two sat down to watch TV. After a few minutes, Charlie started to fidget and Liz immediately knew what he wanted, she served him a huge bucket of chicken wings. Waking in the middle of the night, Charlie wiped the grease from his hands and reread his essay on Moby Dick, thinking of himself as the whale in the story. Struggling to fit in his bed, he eventually falls asleep. In the morning, he turns to his laptop to find out the risks of his obesity and blood pressure, eating candy bars along the way. After some deliberation, he calls a number and slowly drags himself to the shower. He puts on clean clothes and feeds the birds, before his daughter, Ellie, appears on his doorstep. Despite her rudeness, he invites her in and offers her a deal, she can visit him sometimes to do literature and he would give her all the money he saved in his bank account. Ellie challenged him to walk to her without his walker, but he failed and fell. Later, Liz came by and scolded him for inviting his daughter when his ex-wife forbade it, and in an attempt to comfort him, handed him a giant hot dog. Unfortunately, he choked but Liz took notice and helped him spit out the piece of bread. Waiting for Charlie to come to, Liz gathered the mess and returned it to her friend. After teaching a class, Charlie stumbled upon a picture of his friend on the bookshelf, inspiring him to go into the locked room which held memorabilia, but he couldn't get the key. As promised, Ellie came to see him, but she was still rude, spending all her time on the phone. Charlie tried to start a conversation about his ex-wife, but Ellie showed her disinterest in their life and refused to forgive her father for leaving. She could tell Charlie had gained weight due to his friend's death, and asked him to talk about it, but he refused, instead asking her to write a short essay. Charlie locked himself in the bathroom and cried, hoping the sound of the water would drown it out, but Ellie heard him, reminding him of himself. At the door, Thomas, the preacher boy, returned to offer his help. After Ellie left, Charlie sat down with the young man to talk about the end of the world in great writing. Thomas tried to convince Charlie that he had a chance for salvation, but Charlie insisted that the only way Thomas could help was to get the key from under the bed and open the mysterious door. Liz returned with a wheelchair for Charlie and, seeing Thomas, became angry. Charlie calmed her down, and the armchair fit him perfectly. He was excited by his newfound mobility, but Liz took Thomas outside to talk. She asked him not to come back, but Thomas wanted to be Charlie's spiritual advisor, and Liz shared her tragic story of her family's connection to the sect Thomas served. Despite this, Thomas still insisted, and Charlie asked Liz to calm down. When Liz left, Charlie was finally able to get to the room he wanted, but the chair was too wide for the doorway. He had to look down the hallway and breathe in the smell of the room, then the pizza delivery man arrived and gave him his name. Charlie ate the pizza and, remembering his daughter's essay, 
opened her notebook to find it filled with rude sentences, but this made him laugh. Charlie's laughter caused another heart attack, and he remembered the essay about the whale, which helped him cope with his panic. The next day, Ellie showed up and her father asked her to continue writing despite her foul mood. He attempted to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with her, but she was still angry over her father's betrayal and told him everything that had accumulated in her soul. Charlie admitted he was scared that someone wouldn't want him, but this concern made him so happy that tears came to his eyes. Ellie stayed up late, and Charlie fell asleep in the middle of the living room, giving her the chance to explore. Just as she entered the mysterious room, there was a knock on the door and Thomas was back. He was concerned that Charlie was sleeping so soundly, but Ellie admitted to putting sleeping pills in his sandwich. Thomas felt uncomfortable with her behavior, so he planned to leave, but Ellie found arguments to make him stay. She convinced Thomas to try her cigarette and took a picture. Thomas got a taste and the tension subsided, then she demanded that he tell her the truth about where he came from, she had a cult buddy, and she knew Thomas had nothing to do with her. Thomas locked himself in Charlie's secret room and told Ellie through the door that he had started out serving in the cult, but he had stolen a large sum of money and run away. Unaware of Ellie's recording, Thomas rummaged through Charlie's books and looked at his personal photographs while telling the story. Suddenly, Liz and Ellie's mother entered without knocking, and Thomas escaped while the girl was forced to confess to feeding her father dangerous pills. Charlie was put on an oxygen tank, and Liz hurt when she realized Charlie had offered Ellie money for visiting him, Liz had been helping the invalid for free, believing he had no money. Mary asked her daughter to leave and revealed she hadn't let Charlie see her because she was afraid Ellie would hurt him, she showed him a social media recording of her daughter mocking him. She cuddles up with Charlie as they both try to recall their earlier joy before the separation. Charlie tells his wife that he has no more time left in this world. Charlie tearfully asked Ellie not to leave him, so he could go to the next world in peace. He noticed the plate of food for the birds was broken and became uncomfortable. The delivery man knocked on the door, and Charlie asked him to leave the pizza, but this time the delivery man waited for the owner to leave the apartment and Charlie shoved two pizzas into himself at once. Thomas ran into the apartment and told the fat man that Ellie had sent pictures and a tape of his confession to the church and he could now go home. Thomas tried to set the disabled man on the right path and read him a passage from the Bible, but Charlie wouldn't listen. He gave the young man a Bible and asked him to go away, leaving him alone. Charlie had his last class and turned on the camera to show the students what he looked like, after which the teacher smashed the laptop. Liz came to Charlie despite her resentment and blamed him for what he'd done to himself. She reminded him that she'd already had to say goodbye to Alan, the brother her father kicked out of the family because of his friendship with Charlie. Charlie breathed his last breath as Ellie suddenly came running into the apartment, and Liz hugged her friend, realizing it would be the last time she saw him, then left, leaving Charlie to say goodbye to his daughter. Ellie yelled at her father for giving her the wrong essay, but it turned out that Charlie had planted a story about a whale which Ellie had written when she was in fourth grade. She asked her father to go to the hospital, but he refused, instead asking her to read her essay to him. As Ellie read, Charlie mustered all his strength and managed to take a few steps before passing away, going to heaven.